of things I say during my testing, my testing for my camera, I really love is today what I'm going to talk about. And I don't know why I'm doing this accent. Hi everyone, Miranda here, hello. So today I'm going to be talking about a book, as always. Today's book is by the author who brought you Maybe Someday. But this book instead of Maybe Someday is Ugly Love. Why am I comparing it always to Maybe Someday? Because Maybe Someday was an absolutely amazing read and it's the only other Colin Hoover book I've read. Colin Hoover is one of those authors that is just like, her books are just, I don't have words to describe them, they're so amazing. She is the queen of contemporary, she is the queen of making you cry, and she's the queen of bringing out real life dramas in books. Ugly Love is entertaining, it's heartwarming, it's just everything. It's just hard hitting as well, it will make you cry, maybe, so I just to bring a box of tissues when you like read this book. However, it's more a new adult book. I wouldn't suggest this to like young adults. Like I wouldn't suggest this to um, 13 to, to 15 year olds. Yeah, I'm not saying 12 year olds can read it, but that's no, no, no. There are some sexy bits in this book. I'm not saying it's like Fifty Shades of Grey, but when I saw it, it was in the new adult section, I think, and it was near those those sex books, you know, like Fifty Shades of Grey, you know, all those kind of adult, adult hoo -hoo 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 books. I, I wouldn't recommend it to a younger audience. I really love is about this girl called Tate. Tate has just like broken up with a boyfriend. She's 23 years old, so she's a bit older. So she ends up going to live with her pilot brother, Corbin. She lives in like this like apartment place. When she lives there, she's like closer to her work. In this apartment complex, she befriends an 80 year old man whose name's Cap and he's absolutely completely funny and just so awesome and just so weird. And the two of them become best friends and it's just the funniest shit. But she also, 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 this is where the main guy character comes in, starts to develop this um, bit of benefits relationship with the neighbor next door, Miles. Miles is a really nice guy, you know, but he's so frustrating to read because you see, Miles doesn't want to commit to anyone because Miles has a dangerous secret. Well, not a dangerous secret, well, kind of like a dark secret that she doesn't want to tell anyone, that he keeps to himself all the time. And any one other person knows, which is Ian. In six years, he hasn't been with anyone till he meets Kate. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but basically, um, it's told in two points of view. So we have Kate, which is in present day, and then we also have Miles six years ago, so you find out why Miles is like that and why he cuts all the people he really loves off from his life. Okay? Okay? We got it. It's a really well thought out book. I really loved it. It's called Ugly Love. Make sure that you just go pick it up and read it. Okay? Okay? That's all I'm going to say about it. I want to talk about it. I want to talk about this book. So goodbye and for the people. Ta-ta. I'm back. It's time. <laughs> So, 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 this book has been on my like recommendations list for so, so long and I posted this thing on, on Twitter and I was like, okay, everyone, 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 what book would you like to see me read? Would you like me to read The Next Together? Would you like me to read Spellcaster? Or would you like me to read like Ugly Love? You guys voted Ugly Love. I, I read Ugly Love to do as like my, my, my leisure read apart from my review read. Oh no, oh my god, what was I waiting for? I knew heaps of people had read this book and I knew they really loved it. And I know Colleen who after maybe someday because she broke my heart in that book. You know, I can understand reading the book. I know what this cover means because at the beginning I'm like, I really love, why does it look like it's underwater? Like, what is this? Like, are they gonna somehow be like you know, on a swim team? What does this cover mean? And now I finally know what the freaking cover means. It means that, that oh, so Miles' big thing that whole freaking time was he had a baby with Rachel. And then, and then they had like five moments as a family in the hospital before they drove home. Miles was all like Yugi Gaga and like, oh my god, my beautiful family. I can't really get back with that movie with Rachel. And then the next second you know, boom, crash. I don't even know how they got in off that cliff or what the fuck they even crashed into, whether it was a swimming pool or like a the sea. I am still got a freaking idea. I'm so freaking confused. I, I read past that part so far because I was like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to know what happens next because I originally thought that Rachel was going to die. The whole time I'm like, Rachel? Because at the beginning I'm like, yeah, Rachel's totally gonna die, but no, no, the baby dies! And that is why lovers get ugly. <laughs> the definition of the front cover. Now I'm gonna rewind. <laughs> the beginning of the book. 
Our first impression of Miles is he's the drunk guy at the front of the apartment and he's saying someone's name. Originally, you know, when I read the blurb, I'm like, okay, Miles is going to be one of those guys that like, hooks up with random girls every now and then, but he's had like one true love and he won't like love anyone. I didn't know that he hadn't been with a freaking person in six freaking years and everyone thought he was gay. Like, oh my God. Miles frustrated me at the beginning of this book. I just felt like saying, oh my God, you're attracted to her. You know you love her. Just, just be with her. Just just, 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 uh, it was so annoying because I'm like, what the hell is his secret? Like, seriously, dude, just, just admit it, just say it, and maybe then you can get over it. I mean, it was a Colin Hoover book, so I knew I was going to end up loving the main guy character. You know what the funny thing is with Colin Hoover books? It's cheating or if it's a friends with benefits relationship, it makes you like those things. Like, I was reading the Amazing Sunday with the cheating, and then now I'm reading this with like a friends with benefits relationship, and I was like, wants you to have that. Like, she wants you to have it. If you saw a drunk dude at your apartment door, what would you do? Would you just walk away and just like, hum, 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 or would you, you know, get it? Depending on how drunk he was. If this dude was like stellar drunk and like drunk, touchy drunk, I'd be like running away. If he was just like lying there dead drunk, then 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 I'd probably help him. That was just so funny how they mentioned like he like grabbed onto her ankle. Imagine telling their kids that. Mommy, how did you meet daddy? Hey, I could totally understand her feelings the whole time throughout this book and I felt really bad for her because you could see it. You could see that she was starting to develop feelings for this guy and it just frustrated her because he was returning them in his own way but then he'd be all closed off all of a sudden and be like, no, okay, no, what, no, I don't love you. He could really tell her feelings for Miles as they were growing and really understand why she was in this friends with benefits relationship even though she didn't really want to be like i don't classify tate as a slut there was that sexual attraction between them and it was there the whole time and it was just just us just learning for the book let's read this book and all the horny pilots that just that, that, made me think now are all pilots that horny miles the fact that he hadn't been with anyone for six years you could tell deep within, like, I already started thinking, okay, if he was to be with someone, he'd really love someone. I grew to respect him more when I found out he hadn't been with someone for six years, because I'm like, okay, well, he isn't fooling around. You know, he really has feelings for, for Tate. Um, but, okay, let's talk about Miles six years ago, okay? He kind of freaked me out, even though I loved him so much. I love you, Rachel. You're gonna fall in love with me, Rachel. I want you, Rachel. <laughs> And then he's like, we're gonna fall in love, Rachel. We're gonna, mm, mm, mm. dude, calm down, calm down. One step at a time with this Rachel chick. And this Rachel chick ended up being his dad's girlfriend's daughter. Okay, originally I was a bit weirded out at that. I'm just like, mm, okay. And I'm just sort of thinking about it. I'm like, love is love. It's a bit like incest, you know. Some people hate reading about the brother and sister relationship, like once they actually get together. I don't mind reading about that shit. Oh, I'm strange. I don't. I don't mind reading about cousins and they end up falling in love with each other. That happens in real life, like first cousins and all that stuff. So it did kind of freak me out that this happened. If I was the parents, I mean, love is love. You can't change it. Wouldn't you support that? And I mean, the parents are at an age where I don't think they'd have more kids anyway. You could all live under the same roof and your son and daughter produce a kid. It's like you produce you being happy because that kid's your blood, but even though you can't have kids now, it got her a while to get used to. But the fact that they hit it, I knew something was gonna happen. Either she was gonna die or she was gonna get pregnant. And then the more it kept going, I'm like, oh my god, what just happened to Rachel? What's gonna happen to Rachel? Is she gonna die giving childbirth? Is she gonna die like sooner? Is she gonna die after? But no, she died. She didn't die, she just was alive. It was the baby that died. Baby Clayton! That was so cute how they named the baby. Rachel, you're gonna have all my babies! She looked at him weirdly when she found it out after just giving birth. It was just, it was just really funny. Rachel was a weird character because she didn't talk. It was just like, I got you Miles. I, I'm in love with you too Miles. I want to teach you to get too Miles. It's so robotic and cardboard and and just weird. I didn't love it. Whether Miles was this like honestly open romantic dude that just gave her everything and she's just so weird. I don't know. And the fact that they didn't keep in contact, like you would think, okay, now Miles is falling in love with Tate. He'd maybe go back to his ex and see the ex and something like that. How did he even know where Rachel freaking lived when he showed up at her door? After all that time, like he could have done that way, way before, you know, got it over the heartache. She had already moved on. She had a freaking 
husband. But it was cute how the very very end. I saw each other after all that time. And then she's like, I'm proud of you, Miles. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Now she's gonna start doing what Miles did six years ago. Oh. You know when he finally started getting feelings back into himself? It reminded me of the part, you know that movie Warm Bodies, where like his heart starts beating again. It reminded me of that because he's like, I finally let down the ice. Okay, let's talk about sex. Let's talk about the sex scenes in this book. <laughs> the car sex. It's just the funniest shit. Like in the car park of your workplace, you can't even like drive around the corner or like into a abandoned alleyway and have sex there. No, I had to be in the parking lot. And she's like, <laughs> They can still see through the car, the car's gonna fog up if they drive past. Do, 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 do. You, you know, you can you can see the people having sex. Like, Put it in your pants, Miles, just a, just a bit longer. Sex on the kitchen bench, and how she's like, I took the pill. Sex on the rug. You know what they did say they explain? Miles started decorating his apartment and all that stuff. Like, I wanted more of that towards the end. That could have been like a sign, like a starting fresh, and like the more the book went on, the more. He started doing things to his apartment and maybe asking after he takes a ping on it. Like they didn't further expand on that. I found it really weird. We also they have sex a bed. They had sex a lot in the bed. Oh, when well, the kitchen counter, they were like making out and then the dad walked in. I love it. I, I liked their sex scenes. They were funny to read actually. Except she's so loud during sex. And it's just so funny because she's always like, Oh my god! Maybe you haven't had sex in a long time. I mean, Miles should be allowed to be. He hasn't had sex in six years, and he walks around with like a condom that's been in his wallet for freaking six years. It was a wonder that Dillian didn't hear them have sex. You know, Dillian, he pissed me off the whole time, that little perv. Like, what do you think he was getting at? He knew he wouldn't get Tate. Like, why are you even doing half the things that you did? Like, seriously, dude. I originally thought that she was gonna get pregnant in this book, you know, with that friends with benefits relationship. But then at the very end, we, we flash forward in the epilogue, we got like way into the future and she had a baby and then he looked down and it's like, she's got my eyes. So Rachel and him ended up having like two girls. I really love the ending. I love how he proposed, you know, first with the house key and then like with the actual ring. And, I, and then that's all of the sunrise. It was so, so beautiful, the sunrise. I love the sunrise. And I really love how he got Cap involved in it. And I love Cap's line, how the book begins. He's just like, oh, you know, someone wants to shot you in the neck. And then he's just like, oh, about his ass and being shot on the ass. And I'm like, oh my god, Cap and I have something in common. So I have a birthmark on my ass as well. In the side of the book, but I do. And he has it too, so I feel like we're one. Like maybe we're maybe we both got shot in the ass together. I thought he maybe would start to recount how he met like maybe a wife, his wife or like met had kids or something like that. But he didn't. He was more wise without being too wise and more of a friend. And it was really good to see. That's just the end for my ugly love review. I really hope you enjoyed it. What are your thoughts on this book? Tell me down below. For more reviews, make sure to head to my channel. They're all there. I'm Miranda, thank you so much for watching. See